Sailor Moon. This is Ellie with your Love Focus reading for November 2015. So I will be choosing one of the uh, Raider White tarot cards for each week during November for you, Leo. And I will also be choosing uh, one of the Doring Virtue uh, messages from the Angel cards as your overall tone of the entire month. Please watch your sun, your moon, and your rising videos. Your rising first, then your sun, and then your moon, as each video will have some clarification and more information for you. However, the only way to get an exact reading for you is to have one with me. Go to www.hypnoyouallie.com. So your message from the angels this month is that you are flying high. You are flying high, which may threaten others, but do not descend because others will be inspired by your inspired by your example soon. So, just in case somebody else is trying to uh, misery loves company, they're trying to pull you down. You're advancing, you're healing, you're letting go, you're moving forward, and somebody around you is not liking it. Be careful to watch out who's not clapping when you are winning. Those are the people who look like they're your friends, but they're not really your friends. So, Leo, let's have a look at your first week in November. Your first week, you're feeling overjoyed. In a romantic sense, you've met someone who makes you feel quite peaceful. You're on the same page. You both um, give and receive love on an equal basis. They're offering you something in a love sense. As you can see, that you hold all the power and your emotions are completely... Um, overjoyed, overflowing. And this is with a Cancer, Scorpion or a Pisces, uh, Leo, or someone with those qualities. In our second week, you are dealing with, well, Leo, you're taking control. Be careful not to be too bossy and not being too much of a tyrant. Unless, of course, that you're dealing with a fire sign, Leo, uh, Aries or a Sagittarius, Leo. This uh, second week, you might accidentally overdo it. So if you feel your life getting cranky, uh, try not to text anyone, okay? Because you might overdo it this week. In the third week, we do. you really do have to check your sun, new moon, and rising videos. Uh, these three cards have all come up before, and you saw me uh, shuffle them. So do check your sun, new moon, and your rising. So in the third week, you are dealing with a sun, um, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And you are dealing in moderation. Now, this card also literally can uh, stem to mean that someone is overindulging in the alcohol too much. So this is about moderation, okay? This is being open to healing. This is about harmony. This is about giving and receiving. This is about transition. This is about healing, putting things behind you. Now, there are red wings on this, which is about uh, luxury of movement forward, luxury of movement to your higher self. So the more that you give, the more that you heal, the more that you are letting your emotions come out, the more you are getting to your higher self, which is the place that you want to be. In the fourth week, we do have time off. So you're, there's two kinds of people. One, you are having a break from a relationship this week or just, you know, one's away and you don't really have much time to see them this week and that time off is going to do you good or maybe you're just taking that time off to reassess. The other type of uh, cancer this week, sorry, Leo this week, is... Um, as a couple, looking back at how far you've come, you're looking at what you've... Um, been achieving now this is um capricorn virgo or taurus um yeah Cap this is a earth sign taurus capricorn or virgo um and this may be who you're dealing with in a relationship sense that you're looking back at what you've done and you're really happy with the work and how far you've come as a couple so i hope you've enjoyed that reading uh leo and i shall see you next month